Hello everybody, Gary Verdot, Beachflight Aviation here with Clement. Clements. Clements. With Silverlight Aviation. Clements is going to demonstrate the proper assembly of the, the whole rotor assembly here on the AR1 gyro. Enjoy. Okay. I for for all time I have the uh, the mass tool mounted here on my bench. It's set to the degrees exactly like it would be on the on the on the gyrocopter, meaning it's the tool is leaning seven degrees forward. So if I measure it with a with a, a cube. This is where I temporarily set my rolling pitch block bracket. So this is how it would start on the on the on the gyro. The next thing that goes on here is our rolling pitch block. That's how we get it delivered from the manufacturer. We use bushings here, oil light bushings. This is where the boat goes through. The oil light bushing is a, a center brass with, with all kinds of lubricants inside. It also gets, in addition, gets lubricated through uh, little grease jerks that go in here later on. So for service, this is where you lubricate the, the, the pins that go through here. So once once I did all this, this is how it looks like. You have the the two grease jerks for the two pins that go in here, the two half-inch bolts. Uh, the the oil light pushings are already pressed in. We since it's a sliding fit, so I put a slightly, ever so slightly flare on them, and then I tap it in so they don't. They don't move away on me, they stay in position. Uh, this is the, the stop for the pitch up and down stop. It has two set screws in here. The thread is a little bit tricky, it's a 540 thread. Uh, so I set one in position and then the other one I drill. The, the, the hole is through the rolling pitch block, but I drill into the stop pin to make a physical lock for the for the pin not to be able to escape. And then I run the the set screw in. It gets in with with Loctite, so it should not. There should be no escape for this pin. Once it's done like this. Rolling pitch block goes on here. This is the roll movement. It's supposed to be 8 degrees either side. So again, we take our, our cube and we measure this. 8.9, 7 point something. I know this tool is like half a degree out of angle. So, as long as I have my more than 8 here, and a little bit less than 8 here, I know I'm fine. Yeah, it's, because this angle is slightly off, it's 0.6, so you, you add the 0.6 here, then you get 8, you subtract the 0.6 here, you get 8 again. This is the first, the first measurement. Uh, all these, I take this one out here. See, these grooves are designed to give us the specific angle. Yeah, we had to, to think around quite a while, widening this groove a little bit narrower, a little bit over this way, a little bit over this way. But we got it, we got it to the point where upon assembly like this, it works 100%. So now I take the rotor head itself. It has the for the for the pitch, the pivoting point here, that's another half inch bolt. 
and here this is where our stop pin grabs okay now again I measure our desired angle is 20 degrees backwards one degree forward yeah. so putting my my block on it tells me 20.1 backwards so ideal 0.8 point 0.9 forward good we are we are ex pretty good within range used to be with the, with the older ones I had to file this groove to position to, to get our desired angles now we got it all straightened out so this this speeds up the the process quite a bit uh, we cannot mount it finally yet because we have to completely assemble this okay we might want to stop the video i need to get me a few parts that's fine